How to Apply Timing Constraints Using Constraint Manager In this video, we'll look at different options in Constraint Manager and then adding timing constraints in Constraint Editor GUI. We've created a simple design in the latest version of Libero. As you can see, two flip-flops are connected in cascaded fashion. We have two clock input pins tied together to a single port CLK, one input port D, and one output port Q promoted at top level. In order to apply any kind of constraint, the design must be synthesized. Let's synthesize this design. Click on Manage Constraints. This will direct us to Constraint Manager. Constraint Manager is basically a utility wherein users can manage all their design constraints effectively. For this video, we'll limit our discussion to timing constraints only. There are different options under the Timing tab. We'll walk through them one by one. Let's start with New. Click on New to add a new constraint file. A new constraint SDC file gets generated. Users, who are well versed with timing constraints, can directly add them in this file using the text editor as shown next. Line 1 defines the clock constraint on port CLK. To define the delay on the input and output ports, we use the constraints as shown in line 2 and 3. Line 5 is an advanced timing constraint categorized as an exception. After adding the constraints, select the checkbox under Timing Verification and save the changes. Click on drop-down menu besides Check and select Check Timing Verification Constraints. Using this option is a good practice to check the syntax of the added timing constraints. You can either import or link an existing constraint file. Importing a constraint file will create a local copy of it in your project directory. When a constraint file is linked, a link is created from the project directory to the constraint file maintained outside Libero project. Beginners can use Constraint Editor GUI to add timing constraints. Let's create a new SDC file and edit it using GUI. Select the SDC file and right-click on it. Use the option Set as Target. Click the drop-down menu besides Edit and select Edit Timing Verification Constraints. This will open the dialog box for Constraint Editor GUI. On the left-hand side, we have Constraint Browser which is divided into three categories. Requirements are general constraints to meet timing specifications for your design. Exceptions are constraints on timing paths to direct the timing tool not to operate in default manner. Advanced are special timing constraints for clock latency, skew and managing different asynchronous clock groups. Whatever constraints you add will be listed in constraint list tabular format. Let's add the same constraints we've had in the SDC file user underscore one. Right-click on Clock and select Add Clock Constraint. In the dialog box, select the three dot buttons in the right-hand side to identify correct clock source. Select Clock Pin, add it, and click on OK. Add the necessary details. To define delay on input-output ports, follow the next steps. If you remember, we had added an exception in the file user underscore one. Let's see how we can do this in the GUI. In this way, 
We've added all the constraints which we had in the first constraint file. Click on Save and exit from the GUI. To understand derived constraints, let's modify our design slightly. As you can see, the clock pins of the both the flops are driven by PLL circuitry. Let's generate this design and synthesize it. After synthesis, click on Constraint Manager followed by Derive Constraints. A new Derive Constraints file gets generated. In this file, the constraints are defined depending on the configuration settings of the PLL circuitry. In similar fashion, if we have MSS or SIRDES, the option Derive Constraints will automatically generate the constraint file. Constraint Coverage option tells if all the timing paths are constrained in the design. This report gives suggestions for applying the constraints on the unconstrained ports or pins before running various tools. After making sure the design is properly constrained, please proceed with Place and Route and Verify Timing. Green tick mark before Verify Timing suggests that the design has met timing specifications. This concludes the video. Please visit our website for more information on Timing Constraint Editor.